and how it's supposed to make you feel. Yeah. It's supposed to fuel you it's, and party. Mm -hmm. And so what was that food doing for you? Well, I was feeling miserable. Well, then, you know, you go, what get is the, miserable? Tell me what miserable like, is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, before and after picture, if you look at it, my face was, <laughs> <laughs> Like you have chestnuts, like, like you have yeah. chestnuts back in your cheeks. <laughs> And that's you. Okay. Oh, look at you. Wow. Isn't she lovely? And it can be done. It can be done. One day at a time, one pound at a time, mm -hmm. one change, uh -huh. transformation at mm -hmm. a time. Maybe take off a chicken wing. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's a radical. When, when the Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force, mm -hmm. when it comes to this fitness thing and food, mm -hmm. it's a fight. It is. As a trainer, people are like, I don't care what you say. I'm going to eat fried chicken. And I still struggle. Right. But I think of good health mm. or all of that right fried chicken and greasy food health and after a while it's a, it's a no brainer it's, 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 it's a choice you make so so can i just do one of the three chicken wings and you, maybe do a scoop or two of them unless i'm addicted then it's just opening up you a know pathway. what i just don't even go there you don't even go there because it's, it's, it's not even worth it it's not even worth it's going to trigger right so i back up a door yeah, so i'm oh. pretty much a vegan pretty oh, good, much good good because that's much. the best diet um mm -hmm. You know, the plant-based diet, most doctors are saying that that's the best diet for us to live a longer, yeah. higher quality of mm -hmm. life, cut out the, you know, cholesterol, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. I have at least one vegan meal a day, let's put it like that. Oh, good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Because the vegetables and the plants and the fiber and all that stuff is really, really, right. really what we mm -hmm. need. Because we're live and living organisms. Right. We should le eat live foods, things mm -hmm. that got here through photosynthesis. Uh -huh. And so when we eat dead meat, we're eating a secondary life force instead of a primary life source. Now you're so. sounding like my husband. Because my husband's <laughs> like, you're going to eat that type of chicken. You're going to eat that dead chicken. I say, honey, do you have to put it like that? And most of the time, we don't know when it died. Mm -hmm. I mean, for all we know, it could have died three years ago. But yeah. fresh fruits and vegetables, you'll know yes. how long they've been mm -hmm. around. And so I think it's just that perspective and, yeah. you know, kind of opening your eyes and saying, okay, let me just kind of think about what it is that's going on. Right. Um, because, again, we're in a culture of fast, of fast food, food, regular food. It doesn't matter. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I think you said you went to the gas station and there was absolutely nothing positive there. Nothing. That nothing. Went along with your you know, goes. I was just looking around. I said, there's nothing healthy in here to eat. Because mm -hmm. even if you go get something to drink, you still have to watch some of the waters that you drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the water is toxic now. So it's just so many things so, out here just trying to So you to have you. to really make a conscious effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, good health or eat all that food right right and some people are saying this is what they, this is what they tell me i gotta die for something yeah but i don't want to die from that <laughs> from something you can prevent right. so they, that's what some people say i die for something mm -hmm. and, and they just have this weird philosophy about right dismissing the truth mm -hmm. is what you said um but but i i've, I've noticed a strategy to work for some people no, some people no matter what you do they've already decided i'm reprobate i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna drink as much as i don't want to drink mm -hmm. any more but one thing that has helped is adding and you know replacing mm -hmm. so instead of taking away the fries there's a prerequisite to the fries having an apple an orange Absolutely. a fruit you know something that's actually healthy and i mm -hmm. think the more we crowd out our stomachs mm -hmm. because in, if you could picture a stomach as being a bowl mm -hmm. uh, meats and oils only fill the stomach up a very minimum amount right. which means you're still hungry mm -hmm. whereas fruits and vegetables crowd with the water in them and the fiber right. and the nutrients in them so they'll crowd with the less mm -hmm. calories mm -hmm. and virtually no fat unless right. you actually put it on there mm -hmm. and so that's one of the strategies that we use a lot um, is to add 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 the good stuff to the diet mm -hmm. because they won't I mean most people are gonna fight you I would say even seven out of ten people we're going to say, I'm just not going to give up, you know, fried chicken. But you know what, though? Once you give up that food mm -hmm. and if you start really eating healthy, and like after about a couple weeks or mm -hmm. so and you try, you say, oh, my goodness, I want a burger. I want a it's, fish. And you bite. You say, oh, it's not even worth it because it doesn't taste as good as it. And it makes you feel like you. Tell me, what else does it make you feel here? Like, <laughs> that's disgusting. Like, you're going to just blow up. And you need a nap. Mm-hmm. Because your body's not accustomed to right. that being in your digestive mm -hmm. tract. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but, but again, getting people to that point to where they try it after they've been off of it. Just going to that point of, mm -hmm. let me just do a seven-day challenge. I'm not going to eat fried chicken. I can eat chicken, but not fried. Or let me not eat in candy bars. Whatever the thing is, um, people love french fries, chips, or whatever. But just getting them past that point of, mm -hmm. I can't, I won't, and I'm not going to, mm -hmm. is important. Um, and I think that everybody should 
should try it. You're worth it. Like your body's worth it. Your future's worth it. Your mind's worth it. Right. Um, we are the most valuable commodity. Our homes can be replaced. Our cars can be replaced. Even our careers and jobs can Absolutely. be replaced. But we cannot. Because this is it. This is it. This is it. And you want to take care of it. We should take care because of it. Because God wants us healthy. Right. Because he wants to do a work in us. He wants to use us as temples and tools. Right. And how effective of a tool am I if I'm dull? I mean, how can I get up and minister? I'm going to run out of energy in mm -hmm. five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I use that when I when I go to groups and I speak and I'm, I'm going in, I go in, I, I kind of just come in and I kind of put my hand on my hips. And mm -hmm. I say, well, y'all, I'm just not feeling it today. And I say, now, how would you guys feel if that's the way I came? Right. And two percent. I'm, I'm supposed to be here to motivate you mm -hmm. and inspire mm -hmm. you, but I'm barely making it. How is that possible? Because now I'm motivating and inspiring you by title only mm -hmm. and not by practicing what I preach. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. preaching only those things which I've actually mastered. Mm -hmm. And so I say, because there's a lot of people who are leaders, teachers who have to teach students. And so you have to take care of yourself if you're going to be a leader. And a leader is anybody who is responsible for somebody else. In your household, right. you're a leader. Right. You have to take care of yourself you in order to be an effective leader. Because you're, you, I mean, I'm not effective if I'm barely... I can barely get my breath together to even speak, and I barely feel like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, like, if you, you know, fitness, and you were a little out of shape or whatever, and I said, well, how can she help me? That's the way but, I look at but it. But because of the propaganda, everybody is a trainer now. Everybody is mm -hmm. fitness because they play, you know, a sport in high school or college or whatever. But sometimes there's an anointing. And we all have gifts, and God has given us many, many gifts, in addition right. to the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but God has given us many, many gifts, and those gifts are to be used for His glory, for the edification of the body of Christ, and for the uplifting of His kingdom. Right. And and you need to find you an appointed, anointed person to connect with, whether it's your sibling, whether it's your co-worker, whether it's somebody at your church, like Jennifer got her sister. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I always love interviewing <laughs> you. You are just so amazing. Thank you for having me. And such me. a success story. But hey, you guys. You are worth it. Take control of your faith, your fitness, your food, and follow me because you're on the move with Joanna. I'll see you guys next time.